in this second part, we're going to be collecting data. Same approach. The difference now is I'm going to be cutting. So remember, we're using these equal size straw earlier, same diameter and same length. But I kind of cut one of them a little bit shorter. So there we go. So now we have uh, very different lengths. Um, a will still be using our A will still be using the same straw, but now B will be transferring with a much smaller um, straw. So the idea is consistency. So I can't keep like sw switching how much. Like if I'm holding it this way, I'm holding it this way, which means I might not be able to actually reach the bottom. Um, so from here on, from beginning to end of this experiment, it will be it has to be consistent uh, movement back and forth. All right, here you go. 25 zero is our first data set. I'm going to have nothing to transfer. I'm going to move this closer. But... So our first measurement here is, it looks like we have a 22 to about... Um, there's quite a few kind of off to the side, but it's like 22 to 2.5. So there was about 0.5 that's kind of like off to the side here. All right, second transfer. I still have nothing that I can pick up. Okay, so with that, uh, we're now at roughly 17, that's about 19. And this is a little over, it's about six in that one. Still nothing, still can't touch it. All right, A has about 16.5 and this is about 8.5 for B. So now I'm actually able to pick up something. Now A has roughly 14. It looks like B is about 9. A looks like there's about 13 and then B is about 12. A is about 12.5, B about 12.5. A, there is about 11.5, and then B, 13.5. A is, I have 11 for A, and about 14 for B. Ten point five for A and fourteen point five for B. All right, there's about uh, ten and fifteen, so ten on A, fifteen on B. Uh, 10 and 15. 10 for A. 50. So if we can do this for the third time, then that would be our stopping point. 10 and 15. So that's the third time we got the same data point. That's the end of this second experiment.